In this video, I will be showcasing the impressive new features that come with the recent update of Elementor 323. Hey there guys, how's it going? It's Michaela from Simplifying Websites and before I dive into the tutorial, I would like to kindly ask you to give this video a thumbs up as it greatly helps the channel thrive and also to subscribe to the channel. Elementor has recently released some updates and whenever I bring you updates like this, I usually show you the Elementor change log bar. In this case, we are focusing on the page concerning Elementor Pro, which displays the features and changes that are introduced with each update. More often than not, these updates consist of minor corrections and enhancements, which are not easily noticeable. If you visit this page and right-click, selecting the option to translate into Portuguese, you will see terms like adjustment, addition, ordering, DOM logic, correction of focus, and correction of links. These primarily consist of code adjustments and widget fixes as errors occasionally occur. However, when something completely new is introduced or when something is fine-tuned and added, I make sure to bring you all the exciting news. That is why it has been a while since my last update, as the recent ones mainly consisted of adjustments and corrections. Now, there are three major updates that I am excited to share with you, all of which I absolutely loved, and I am certain you will too. Let's take a look at them right here. The first update is specifically for Elementor Pro, while the other two are applicable for both Elementor Free and Elementor Pro. The first update introduces the brand new Ajax search widget, which enhances the search experience for products, posts, and more. I have previously discussed similar search plugins with you, and we have extensively used them in the store setting. I would like to introduce you to TechUdi, a website template that I have taught how to create on the channel. You can find this template for sale in our template store, which can be accessed on our website templates.descomplicandosites.com.br. Take a look at the wide variety of templates we have available there. Our store is designed to showcase our products, and to this end, we have incorporated an Ajax feature that allows for quick and efficient product searches. For instance, if you search for watch, relevant products will start appearing as you type. I have previously shown you how to implement this feature for blog posts using an additional plugin. However, with the latest Elementor update, you no longer need to install any extra plugins. You now have greater flexibility in creating your desired layout, as the layout options are already preset in Elementor. Make sure to access the settings and explore the features within Elementor to create the layout that suits your needs. Before initiating any updates, ensure that both the Elementor Free and Elementor Pro plugins are up to date. To do this, navigate to the Plugin section and select Installed Plugins. Take note that both Elementor and Elementor Pro should be updated to version 3.23. Proceed with updating the plugins accordingly. Remember, it is crucial to create a backup of your website prior to making any updates. Additionally, pay close attention to my instructions. Updating may sometimes cause issues such as bugs or conflicts with other plugins or themes. Thus, having a backup allows for the option to revert the site to its previous version in case of any complications. Fantastic! Now let's move on to settings and access resources to enable the search option. Activate it by selecting Active, scroll down, and save the changes. Lastly, I will navigate through the menu so that I can visually demonstrate to you. To access the header template, I will navigate to Elementor, hover over it, click on Main Menu. The template will then be visible. Like you'll see the search widget here, which is called Search. This is it. It's the same old Elementor search, only now it's added these new features. I'm even going to delete this other one that's here. Once you're satisfied, feel free to personalize every aspect. Simply click here and you'll gain the power to modify the content. Restoring it to its initial state, let's go back to Search Products. In this section you have the option to enable autocomplete, which suggests words as the user types their search. I will activate this feature. Additionally, you can add an icon within the search bar. Please note that this icon is currently disabled, but if you place it here, it will appear inside the search bar. If you prefer to maintain the clean appearance of the previous version, you may choose not to include it. Because here there was just a little icon and no button, right? If you want to do it this way, you can too. I've even downloaded an SVG icon here, very similar to the magnifying glass. In that particular location, the one that is situated off in that direction, you have the option to place this magnifying glass right here. If you prefer not to have an associated symbol or conduct a search, you can come over here and press the Enter key. Doing so will cause this button to vanish, as this area indicates whether you want to activate a search by pressing Enter or by clicking the forthcoming button. If you desire to utilize both options, you can find the Enter key right here, allowing you to perform a search and also click the button. However, if you want the button to disappear, you simply need to keep the Enter key and it will create a cleaner appearance for the magnifying glass. Furthermore, 
If you wish to keep a button in place but eliminate the word search and instead display an icon, you have the option to do so. Simply delete the word search, click on the icon placement, and insert your chosen icon. You can select an icon from the Elemental library or use an SVG icon similar to the one already provided here. In this case, you would need to remove the existing icon from this side and retain it in this location. I will include the icon inside, which was not present in the previous version of the store. In the search results, we will set up the Ajax function to ensure that it continues working as expected. Currently, if you type into the search bar, it takes you directly to the results page. To maintain the functionality of Ajax search, we need to activate it. However, before doing so, we need to create the model for how the products will be displayed here. Therefore, you will need to go to the templates section and add a new one. Choose the loop option. Item loop. Choose products and come here and give it a name. I'll put product search and click on create template. Then you can close and create a template here in any way you like. I'll show you how to create a basic one here. You'll click on flexbox, get one with a little arrow to the side. Then you'll come here to the library, we'll get the featured image of the product, we'll get the title of the product, and we'll also get the price of the product, which is very similar to this aesthetic that we already have here. We'll just resize it. We'll come here in this image, come in advanced width, customize, we'll leave it at 10%. I'll come here to content, I'll leave it complete. I'm going to come here in text, I'm going to come in style, in color, I'm going to leave this color a darker gray and in the typography, the text typography. I'll come here for the price. The color, this one above, I'm going to make it lighter, this one here, the darkest color. In this lighter color, I'm going to make it a little lighter, which is the promotion color. I'll come to this one, in typography, in decoration, I'll leave none. I'm going to use the typography on this one. I'm going to leave the text and the typography on the one below. I'm going to leave the text too. I'll click here to go back. The weight of this one, I'll leave it at 500. I'll go back to the decoration and I'll leave none again. That's it. Now I'm going to come here on the card. I'm going to come here. I'm going to leave it aligned to the center. I'm going to come in advanced. I'm going to leave 10 and I'll click on update. To access our small model in this system, navigate to the results section and click on the search button. Look for the model's name which we called product search. Once you find it, select it by clicking on it. From here, you can customize the appearance by choosing the number of characters to display. The default is set to three characters, but you can change it to any desired amount. By typing in three letters, they will begin to appear on the screen. Additionally, you can select the number of columns and the number of items shown per page. I suggest leaving it at the default of eight items per page. If you prefer, you can also maintain the same height for uniformity. I'll click on refresh. I'll leave this page here without reloading and I'll I'll load another one for us to see. It's already showing up here. I'm going to search for honey headphone. Look, it appears like this because the space where the search is is narrow. To make it better, we have to increase the spacing. So I'm going to click on it here. I'm going to go to advanced width. I'm going to make it personalized. I'm going to put 50 spacing just like the other one. Then you can adjust it. See if you have enough space and click on refresh. Reload our page. Look now. It's starting to appear. It looks pretty much the same as it did on the... in this other one. And if you want it to appear like this, when you hover the mouse, it changes color. You come here, in the main container, in style, when you hover the mouse, kind of background, I'm going to put this gray color, refresh, I'm going to reload the page and search again. Look, when you hover over it, but it's not clickable yet, notice, it's only clickable if you assign the link. So you come here to the image, here to the link, you put the personalized URL, you come to the dynamic tag, you put the URL of the post. Same thing with the product name. The text has 186 characters. Here is a reformulation with approximately 264 characters. The components are content, link, dynamic tag, and post URL. Due to pricing limitations, customization is necessary for clickable functionality. That's it. And here we've set. With the default, which is to appear one below the other, you can see it here on the uploader too. 
Then, by coming here I'm able to modify and observe the outcomes. If I desire two columns to be visible, this allows me to do so. They appear next to each other, but this layout we've made is so that they appear one below the other. To proceed, please perform the action. The message product not found will be displayed in the following way. Product not found. That's it. Click on Update. By default, the search function on this platform encompasses all areas, products, posts, and pages. However, if you prefer to search exclusively for products, you have the option to change the settings accordingly. Similarly, if you are running a blog and wish to focus solely on searching for posts, you can easily make that adjustment as well. Please note that this singular product focus search attribute is exclusively available for those with Elementor Pro. Now, let me introduce you to another exciting feature that I believe you will truly appreciate, particularly because it can be utilized with Elementor Free, the floating button. To enable the floating buttons option, access Elementor's settings and navigate to the resources section. Activate the option and ensure it remains enabled. Then, scroll down and click on save changes. Once done, the option will be available in the templates section. Simply hover your mouse over it and click on the floating buttons. If you already have a floating button, it will be displayed. Delete it if desired. To add a new floating button, click on the Add New button. There are several little models. The one I found most usable for us here is the WhatsApp one, which is this one. You click on it and all... The, the templates will appear with the cookies consent. You click OK. And look, there's the little WhatsApp button. You click on it and it pops up. It's all customizable. The photo, the title, the text, the button, everything. You can click back in the library and take a look at the others too. I thought this one was pretty cool too. It has the icons and you move the mouse around and it shows the whole sentence. There's another one here too. It's for WhatsApp where there's a button. You hover the mouse and a sentence appears. And there's another one here too, which is just a little WhatsApp button. There are others here too, like this one. There is an icon that, when clicked, displays different pieces of information. Most of them are similar but with different configurations. Some are blue, some have different backgrounds, and others have their own color combinations. You can choose one that fits your layout, or customize it with your preferred colors. In this case, I'll select this particular one to demonstrate. The text contains 387 characters, approximately. Adhere to the max limit of 493 characters with a 10% tolerance range. First, I will click on the Insert button and it will be applied. Just take a glance, it seems like this. Then you can come over here and modify it to the desired asset type. For instance, I can select WhatsApp, Messenger, or any other app, and it will adapt accordingly. It can even customize the preferences for email, SMS, Viber, or Skype without any hassle. In the case of WhatsApp, just enter your phone number. Let me give you a fictional example to illustrate. This is for the notification dot feature. This reformulated text consists of approximately 223 characters. When you put in your number, when the person clicks here and clicks to go to the chat, it redirects them directly to WhatsApp. The item here itself generates a link. If it's an email, you come here and enter your email address. For example, I've put my email address here. Here, you can already put in the subject, schedule appointment, and you can also put in the body text of the email. You could say, hello, Dr. Antonio. I'm visiting the site and would like to make an appointment. Then, when the person clicks on the button, their email will automatically open. Before, if it's the first time they've clicked on an email link, it asks them both on their cell phone and on their computer if they want to open it in Gmail, if they want to open it in another application. Here on the computer, it also asks, doesn't it? So it goes straight to whatever she chooses with the subject with the email already set up just for her to click and send. I am deciding to go with WhatsApp in this very moment. At this specific location, you have the option to modify the title, like for instance, Dr. Antonio. I have selected Dr. Antonio, who is an endocrinologist, to be featured. You have the option to change the photo or take a new one. By clicking on the message button, you can either repeat the person's name or provide the name of the secretary, but for now, it will display as Dr. Antonio. Greetings, may I assist you today? Feel free to share any message you'd like. Additionally, there is an animated feature to emulate the typing effect. Which is this one? Which appeared in a WhatsApp message. And here the send button. The writing is in English. You can put whatever you want. I'm going to put schedule appointment. Once you've made all the necessary modifications, simply click the publish button. In case you wish to alter the style, each tab provides options for adjusting color settings, typography, and size, among other things. After you have made all the necessary changes, click on the publish button and add a condition. From there, you can decide whether you want the changes to apply to the entire website or just specific sections, such as the archive tabs, blog page, 
post page, or individual pages. If you wish to target a particular page, you can select it in the singular form. If you only want it to appear on two pages, for example, if you want it to appear on all pages, simply choose contact in the page selection. Only select the contact page if you wish for it to appear only there. Finally, click on save to apply the changes. I am planning on visiting the website. Over here is the button for you to click on, and when you do that, a window will pop up. I must say, I was really impressed by it. The design indeed looked very professional. The best part is, you can achieve the same result with Elementor Free. The only difference would be that in Elementor Free, you won't be able to choose where to place the pop-up on the website. It will appear across the entire site. You'll only have one option for that. Additionally, you won't find the option to customize display conditions in Elementor Free. Once you publish it, you won't be able to change these settings. Do you understand? Suppose, for example, you want to remove the pop-up and no longer have it displayed on the website, you'll need to come back to this panel. Come here to Templates, Floating Buttons and come here to Select and Delete it. In order to make edits, you can access the editing feature by coming to this location and selecting Edit with Elementor. Additionally, there is a newly added widget called the Link Tree widget, which can also be referred to as the Link in Profile widget. For this, you will need to navigate to Elementor, go to Settings and then locate the Link in Bio option under Resources. You have the option to place it on any page available to you. So in order to demonstrate, I'll navigate to the home page right now to present it to you. In fact, this site I'm showing you here is a site I taught you how to create on the channel, okay? I'll leave the link on the card and in the description if you want to check it out. It's also available in the template store. Look, as soon as you activate it, here in the library, by clicking this link located in the bio, a tab will open. The tab contains multiple widgets, each with a unique format. This particular widget resembles a page dedicated to bio links. Additionally, if you wish to create a separate page solely for linking to your bio, that option is available too. The convenience lies in the fact that you can easily access this page. Drag them all onto the page, so you can see the difference between each one. Don't limit yourself to creating just a bio link page with these widgets. They have multiple features that can be used in various sessions. For example, you may have a session where you want to include an image, a title, a brief text, and a button in this structure. So, be creative and explore the different possibilities these widgets offer. So, it's already prepared for you. There is no need to add a container to store all the items. Take a look at this option. It comes with a cover and an image at the top, and there are various icons that you can see here. The best part is that you can customize all of this. For instance, you can delete the icons that you don't need or keep only the ones that you want. You have complete control over the setup process. Moreover, each layout is unique and you have the flexibility to explore and configure them. This particular option that I'm showing you now. Uh, look, this one. Its name is Business Card. It has the download button already configured. So whatever you have configured here, it downloads to the person's cell phone or computer. I'll show you. By clicking on the download button, a file will be downloaded to this location. This particular widget has the ability to download and print an entire web page for the user to access and keep the information. Once it is configured, the widget will download the entire page and make it available for the person to save. Its main purpose is to ensure that users can easily store the information they need. So that's it folks, these were the three new features that came with this new version of Elementor. If you liked it or have any questions, leave them here in the comments, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Cheers, see you next time, bye.